Hi guys, it's Patty. Welcome back. And today we're going to be talking washi storage. And this is probably the most asked question that I do get on Instagram whenever I either show my washi wall or um, um, use it as a background for my pictures. You guys are always very interested. You want to know where did you buy that? How can I get it? So I thought I would do a really quick video and show you where I purchased everything and also give you some alternatives because some of the things that I'm using are uh, a little bit hard to find. Now, before we start talking washi wall, which is what you're looking at, I'm gonna show you uh, the first way that I started storing my washi when I started buying and started my collection. So here's the first way that I started storing my washi, which is inside a fire drawer um, cabinet from Michael's. And uh, this is when I prefer to hide away my washi. I didn't want it to clutter around, you know, my craft room, but then I discovered the washi walls. And so I decided to start displaying that way instead. But I still use, I still have four drawers full of washi. Now this is a little empty. I have just uh, started purging a little bit, but on the top drawer I keep um, glitter washi because I use a lot of it especially the thin glitter washi I use it in my layouts every week so I have that right here in the top on the second drawer, I have uh, my the Planet Society washi up to here and then here I have some green blues purples then in the next drawer, I have mostly uh, gold silver black and white I don't know why I have that many and here on the bottom, I have my overflow of Simply Gilded from um, some boxes from Simply Gilded and then some pinks and some reds. And again, this was uh, the original way. It's a cabinet that sits under my desk. And then let me show you next my first washi wall. And here is washi wall number one, which is the first one that I came up with when I ran out of room in my washi drawers that I just shown you. And I had no idea that I actually owned already exactly what I needed to create uh, a washi wall. And what I'm talking about is these two shadow boxes right here. They're identical. And they came with the purchase of my silhouette. Uh, they are meant to be advent calendars and they came with files to create um, you know, some boxes that would fit into the little openings. And I was actually gonna use it for that specific purpose. I had them set aside, but I never used them for that purpose. And when I was looking around the house to find something where I could store my washi in, I thought these were just perfect. Unfortunately, uh, they are not available for purchase at this time, but you may have it at home if you purchase a silhouette at the time that I did. Um, and sometimes, you know, keep on, you can look on eBay, you can look at Etsy, things always show up and I actually am myself looking for more. <laughs> So if you have one to sell, please let me know. But um, what I do like about these shadow boxes is that, as you can see, uh, they have a variety of shapes and uh, some are horizontal but rectangular, some are square, some are vertical. Um, so it gives you more interest in the way that you can, uh, um, you know, display your washi. I do prefer this kind of style of shadow box to one that has just horizontal, you know, shelving and all the washies on a straight line. I find this more appealing to look at. Uh, now on top here, right there, I have a little house from the dark Target Dollar Spot and I'm sure you're familiar with them. They are available for sale every so often. They're $5 and they come in a variety of colors. Now, don't be discouraged if you don't find the exact color you're looking at. I prefer mine to be white just because I feel like the storage kind of disappears into the to the wall and it, you know, I feel like with the white background, the washi shows up more, you know, so it's 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 you can better see the colors and so but sometimes like for example, this last time when they were available for sale last month, I did not find white ones, so I picked up a few of the pink ones and then when I'm gonna need them I'm gonna just spray paint them white and it's super easy super fast to do so if you find another color just pick that one up and then spray paint it uh, now as you can see in this is my so-called pastel wall and um, what the, the reason why they're all pastels here is that um, most of my layouts in my planner are kind of pastel or they're pinks so um, these are the washes I use the most 
And having them here right on the desk where I do plan uh, lets me, you know, it's, it's much easier for me to reach out and see if a washi will go with a certain layout. So I put them all together. So uh, when I buy um, a washi um, tube, I separate them. I, you know, I don't necessarily keep all the washi in, you know, together as they came with. Um, you know, feel free to separate them. For example, I have Target washi, I have some um, Simply Gilded washi, I have, you know, Hobby Lobby, uh, Michaels, Joanne, I buy washi from uh, all sorts of places and I mix it together. Just mix them by color, by hue, by tone. And uh, that way, I mean, that works for me. Um, it makes it easier for me to find the washi that I need. Now, this again is my main washi wall and uh, let me show you what is my next uh, washi wall which is something I came up with when I could not find any more of these shadow boxes. And here is washi wall number two and this one sits on the opposite side of my desk and it's more like a washi condo I would call it um, and it's, it consists of three individual pieces. Uh, there is this shadow box here and then two of the Target dollar spot houses on top. And this is the solution that I came up with once I could not find any more of the silhouette uh, advent calendars. Uh, now, I already owned this, uh, um, this shadow box right here. It was actually a garage sale find from years back. I think I only paid $10 for it and I spray painted it white. Now, it's not as ideal as the other shadow box to me because even though it has some, uh, you know, you can see rectangle and squares and some are indeed horizontal uh, versus the vertical, um, it's still not as, uh, you know, it's, it's not as much of a variety as I would like it to be. But I think it works for now. Um, now, if I find a better one, I'll probably switch it out. And uh, uh, you can buy this style of shadow boxes on eBay, on Craigslist, uh, garage sales, you can buy it on antique markets. And what you wanna be looking for is printers, drawers. And they come in a variety of shapes and sizes. Uh, now, what you want to make sure of when you're buying them is that the openings, like the individual openings right there, are at least one and three quarter deep by two inches wide because that will fit your washi. Because there's some that have maybe a better layout, but what happens is that they're too narrow and so they won't fit your uh, washi tape. So um, you can find them again on all those places and usually they vary in price from like 15, 20, even $40, but the shipping is usually what costs more. So if you find it local, it's probably uh, a better buy. Uh, I'll try to link some below if I can find some on eBay that are, you know, current listings so you can take a look and know exactly what I'm talking about. Or you may already own them and have them in your garage. Um, you know, people use them to store knickknacks and little collectibles. So uh, this again was my um, second washi wall. As you can tell, it's still uh, kind of empty, but it's empty just because I've taken the washi out. I did not like the way that it was uh, kind of coordinating and actually I'm not happy with this, but um, I am working on it. I am getting new washi. So um, the one up there, it's all a rose gold washi and I do like that, you know, the little washi house, but the rest I will be probably be switching out and uh, uh, putting in washi that I use most often. So this is it guys. I hope you liked it. I hope it was informative and if you have any questions, please do let me know and uh, uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you back here on Friday with an unboxing. Until then, I hope you guys have a wonderful time. Okay, bye bye guys.